home a WBO heavyweight champion of the world. He's gone 12 rounds in each of his last five fights. He's never been stopped, as you know. But this is a night he wants to stop Alexander Flores, and he wants to do it early. Junior Fogg did it the first round. He certainly wants to make a statement coming up what Fogg did. He wants to be successful. A look at the tail of the tape. Heights are the same. Joseph's a bit heavier. He's younger by two years. But Flores has a longer reach by a couple of inches. They're both excited about this fight. Flores coming off a win. Joe has to start all over again. At full 10 weeks, he's worked on nothing but power, conditioning, and being more aggressive. I've seen him in seven different training sessions, and he's really worked on his right hand and really being aggressive. He wants to go out to Flores in the first couple of rounds of this fight and end it as quick as he can. Flores, on the other hand, thinks he can knock him out. That's Mama Sala. Here comes Dan Hennessy to get this thing started. The Lieutenant Dan Hennessy and his Canterbury Once again, ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. It is scheduled for 12 minutes. A professional international heavyweight boxing action. It is brought to you by Flooring Extra. Interesting first fighting out of the red corner. He enters the ring wearing black trunks with gold trim. He weighed in 107.95 kgs. He hails from Roland Heights, California, USA. He is a former WBC World Youth Heavyweight Champion. He has 19 professional fights, 17 wins, one loss, one draw, with 15 big wins coming by way of KO. How about a warm Christchurch welcome for Alexander the Great Flores! And his opponent fighting out of the blue corner. Enters the ring wearing white trunks with gold and blue trim. He weighed in 109.25 kgs. He hails from South Auckland, New Zealand and representing the beautiful country of Samoa. He is ranked fifth in the world by the WBC. He is trained by world-renowned boxing coach and trainer, Kevin Barry. He has 26 professional fights with 24 wins, two losses, with 18 big wins coming by way of KO. He is the former WBO heavyweight champion of the world! All right, guys, first of all, both of your shorts are fine. Below the belt line is a low shot. Protect yourselves at all times. Listen to my instructions. Obey my instructions when I call a break. Stop throwing and step away from each other before you start again. Shake them up. Best of luck. Unified rules of boxing, 10 point must scoring system. No standing aid count. Is Joe dead? Dempsey, no three knockdown rule, the fighter cannot be saved with the bell in any round, only the referee can stop the fight. In case of an accidental foul, I'll explain the rules to you as it becomes pertinent to what's going on in the ring. Get your seat belts on, folks. This is gonna start fast and furious. Joe should try to work to the body early and then try to take him out with something big up to do. Here we go, Parker in the white trunks, Flores in black with gold. Flores' his face uh, looked very fit compared to a lot of other camps. I know he's worked very hard with that. He's got one of those bodies that doesn't necessarily look trim and ripped. Joseph Parker looks in tremendous condition. Oh, he is, Mike. He's in the best shape he's been in a long time. Flores has got fairly quick hands, too, and he's got plenty of knockout power. Joe works downstairs first to start it off. He's got the great jab, but he's been relying on the great jab too much. He's got to throw more right hands, and that's what he's trained for, his aggressiveness. Just sort of feeling him out here. But Kevin wants him to go right after him from the get-go. Joe hasn't thrown a right hand yet. One of the things I think you've got to be cautious of with a guy who can punch in Flores is uh, not getting too impatient too early. To, you've still got to construct your knockouts at this level. So Yes, Parker, start fast, but be smart about how you start. 
That's for sure. You see a nice uh, jab by Flores, too. Clips him with a bit of a hook. Makes Joe faint a little bit. Goes downstairs on Joe. Joe wants to set him up for the straight right hand down the middle or clip him over that uh, left eye if he possibly can. He has, still hasn't thrown the right. There it is. I'm just about to say he hasn't thrown the right hand, and he cuts loose with it. Didn't get him full. Just missed him that time. Clipped him hard on the inside. Joe has made Flores feel his power here in the first round with those last two punches. Didn't like the way Joe pulled out of that clinch, though. Pit and pat punches back. from Flores, but he just pulled straight back. I'd rather see him dipping down and changing angles. And, and you're right, Mike. One thing he doesn't need to do is really press, 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 because Kevin, oh, boy, he went after him with that right hand there. Kevin wants him to take him out early. But Flores is a tough kid, too. Now Flores has got something to prove. This is a big opportunity for him. He certainly looked relaxed and confident when I've talked to him this week. He thinks he's got a realistic chance. He also has a five centimeter reach advantage. So that's something Parker has to negotiate. Yeah, and both of these guys are really nice guys. They, they come from great families, but their terror's in the ring. Flores wants to be the first Mexican heavyweight champion. Johnny Ruiz, who got knocked out by David Tua years ago, became the heavyweight champion, was the first Latino heavyweight champion. But he wants to be the first Mexican heavyweight champion. And certainly if he could beat uh, Joe Parker, he'd be on his way. Joe caught him good with that one. Flores bangs him back. Good exchange by both guys. Flores lands the right hand in the middle of that. Joe's got a mouse underneath his right eye. Flores is looking to weave oh, that right hand right. over the jab of Joseph Parker. And he's slipping his head on the outside and trying to time it. So he's doing enough to keep Parker on us. Kevin Barry with Joe. Brian Barry leaning over the ropes, and the other trainer is Taylor Barry. Good work. You're doing good, man. That's Michael Love, David Lara, working with Flores. Yeah, take your time. Remember, this is a 10 round fight. It's not a sprint, it's a marathon. So, round two. All right, here we go. This is round number two from the Horn Castle Arena in Christchurch, New Zealand. I'm the Colonel Bob Sheeran along with Mike Anko. Our principal's in there. In the white trunks is Joseph Parker. In the black trunks is Alexander Flores. Flores with a gold, calls himself Alexander the Great. Let's see how great he is before the night's over. As Joe Parker wants to pick up the pace now. Flores. Is fighting with confidence, though, throwing his right hand. A oh, hard body shot. Boy, Flores is going to be in great shape as Joe loaded up those shots to the body. Look at this. How about this for Donnie Brown? Whoa. Good stuff by both guys. They're both in peak shape. Flores not showing any respect on the inside. He's getting tagged, but he's coming straight back. I like the work that Parker did, though. He stayed on the inside. He ducked down and went to the body. It looks to me like he's going to have to break Flores down. Now, Flores certainly isn't rolling over with this guy. So Joe will have to hit him with some more of those body shots. But those weren't shoeshine punches of the body. Those were hard body shots, especially when he dips and hits him with the left. And his right hand is a, a thunderous right hand. The right hand caught him another hard right hand. Joe misses with the left. Joe's still a little bit up, but he's shot watching a little. Keep him up, keep him up. A couple yeah. of those shots very low on the belt. Yeah, but Mikey's loading up his shots right now. Really hard to the body, and Flores is able to stand up to him right now. But you can't stand up to shots like this for a long time because Joe is really sitting down Mike. on his body shots. Parker to the left of your screen. Flores in the black trunks. Joe back upstairs, misses. The right uppercut's there for Parker if he sets it up. Take the punch. 
I don't know if it's right. partially blocked right. by the glove or right. not. Let go, let go, let we'll go, see go. that if there's a replay. But by golly, Joe had malice of forethought for that right hand. Good, Joe. Flores, though, he's uh, he's keeping that left glove glued to his ear. He knows it's coming. So Parker would do well just to try and disguise that shot a little better, try and set it up, perhaps bring the left glove of Flores across and then deliver the right hand. Remember, Flores has only lost to then heavyweight champion Charles Martin. Martin was actually in his training camp with him as he was getting ready for this fight. He also wore with Dominic Brazil and Andy Ruiz. Left hand, right hand by Joe. Joe stop, digs stop, to the body stop. again. Come here, Tom. I would love to see the replay on that. Well, that was a low blow, and uh, the Joe, Rebel John Joe, Conway has given him a chance. I think it was a little higher than uh, Flores perhaps indicated. Mind you, those cups, they can be pulled up by a shot on the belt. Yeah, John uh, gave him a little time to rest, but got right back to a nice, decent jab by Flores. Joe getting in his position. The bell ends round number two. That's the park around, so he's totally out boxing him. Well, he's showing us something different from, from what he's seen. He's trying to engage on the inside. He's trying to dip down, bob his knees. He's trying to break him down to the body. Let's have a listen in to Kevin Barry. The fights. The fights. You'll get him jump up with his right hand. He'll be open for the left on. Okay? There we see Parker working the body. Flores, he's got his gloves up high. He's taking those on the gloves pretty well. But the body shots in particular, he cannot sustain over the long term. You know, a lot of the fans here, Mike, were hoping to see uh, Joe do what Junior Farr did with his first round knockout over Rogelio Rossi. But this guy is a much more class fighter. Parker went for the uppercut. There was that low shot. Yeah. I wouldn't mind seeing it in slow motion. Now, the way Flores is hugging his wait, left wait, hand wait, to his ear, I, I believe that presents an wait, opening wait, for the left wait. uppercut after Parker throws the right hand if he's throwing that overhand right. We'll see if Joe sees it. Here we go. Joe back to the jab again. A couple of nice jabs by Alexander the Great Flores. Joe falls short with those jabs with the right hand behind it is what Kevin Barry wants to see. This is the stiff jab. This is the overhand right. And again, the right hand of the body. These are hard shots of the body. Back upstairs with the right hand. Has he hurt him? I don't know. No, I guess not. Right. But these body right. shots are hellacious. You got to keep, keep them up high. You got to keep them up high. The Rebel John Conway says you got to keep them up a little higher. Actually, the trunks are below the belly button of uh, Alexander right now. So Joe's got to come up just a hair. Joe's trunks are much higher. Flores got a lot of body to hit. Parker's obviously very intense for this fight. And again, he's he's missing with that right hand. He didn't miss with it that time, Mike, or that time. Right. On the inside, these are good shots. And a couple of pity pad shots at the end. He's Rebel John Conway doing a nice job keeping this thing clean. He's got a hard job to do because he's a, he's a smaller man getting in between these two heavyweights. Parker just pulling back straight there. Like Sam cut the angle. Joseph Parker in the white trunk the blue trim. His jab is fine and it always has been. Got to throw more right hands and more power shots. His body work has been excellent. And Mike, you're right. I mean, he's got to try and soften this body up downstairs before he goes for the knockout. He just can't with a, a fighter of the quality of Flores. He caught him with the right hand that time. These are hard body shots again. Some of them are borderline. But most of them are really, really hard, stiff body shots with both the right and the Break. left hand. If I could just pause. And gotta throw more right hands and more power shots. His body work has been excellent. And Mike, you're right. I mean, He's got to try and soften his body up downstairs before he goes for the knockout. He just can't with a, a fighter of the quality of Flores. He caught him with the right hand that time. These are hard body shots again. Some of them are borderline, but most of them are really, really hard, stiff body shots with both the right and the left hand. You know, we want him downstairs. Boom! That's the right hand. And there's another... Up from Parker, though. This is 
Oh, a series of punches. This fight is all over. Joe Park.